Okay, here comes part two. Um, as you notice, some of these things are on. I'm using a free program. It's called um, FS. What is it called? Fidgets. FS2 Fidgets. You have to take each one of these lights, which are listed one, two, three, four, five, and you can see the ones in the green. Those are the ones that are actually programmed. Um, these aren't on these other ones. It's an ambiguous program, but it's free. Versus, again, the Project Magenta program, or the Flight Deck Solution program, um, which is considerably more expensive. Again, we're talking uh, anywhere from five to a thousand dollars versus a free program. I have three fidgets cards in here, what they call LED 64s. And the LED 64s obviously control 64 LEDs. There's 101 lights overhead. So uh, it, it's good enough to, to cover all of that. And I'm using the Leo Bodner uh, BXU86X or something like that. Uh, and it's 44 euros, which is a good price. And it, each one programs 32 switches. So um, again, cost cutting, and it looks just as good. And I went with the fidgets board because you can actually control the brightness of the LEDs and I like a brighter light, especially on the nose gear, landing gear, and, and all that, okay? So, there again, ways of cutting it. If you want to spend more money, go the other route because it is a very good product that both those companies make. I, again, I save money and that way I can take the money I saved and put into something else. Now we're going to light the LEDs up for a second. And my son's taking the video, so you'll be able to see because you get to test it just like you would on the rail 737 and that's what the board looks like when it's fully lit up that way we know all LEDs are working all lights are working um, and I'm gonna kill it and put it back to where it's supposed to be there we go okay I'm gonna reduce this and the things that we're gonna do <laughs> in a moment insofar as flying I don't recommend I don't think Southwest Airlines would approve of it much less anybody else. But again, I just want to show you how some of these things work right now because everybody was, was pretty curious about it. If you notice the aircraft is sitting there, it's not doing anything. So what we're going to do first is we're going to turn the position of uh, the um, position lights. Uh, again, there's some tricky things and I'll tell you about that in a moment. We're going to turn the um, beacon on. So if you notice when I did that, the overhead beacon on the aircraft comes on. Okay, and so it's a tower view, passenger view, and that's what I'm going to see on the projected image out there. Now we're going to start engine number two. Engine number two starts here. If you notice on board, start valves are open, slowly building up. About 20% will actually turn the fuel lever on, and as you can see, things are climbing here and here we go and if you notice as soon as we turn everything on low pressure settings went off these are the fuel pumps this is the APU unit and this row and this row combined uh, operate engine number one okay or number two excuse me my son's glaring at me here which is fine shows we have the fuel valve open engine valves are closed still because we haven't done that yet so here we go with engine number one again start valve is open and in a moment pan up here Jeff and as soon as I bring the fuel lever up low pressure is going fuel flowing and lights go out because it's getting fuel. We have fuel pumping and so forth. Okay, Some of these lights have to be adjusted a little bit as you can probably already tell. These lights up here indicate that I have good heat in all sections of the cabin. Okay, now here's what I don't recommend doing at home. The FAA wouldn't like it. 
I'm going to take the parking brake off. I'm going to give her five degree flaps, flaps in transit. And before I do anything else, I've got to We've been working with this basically all day and it's been a, a pain but I did want to try to get this video done. Okay, we're going to go right through a building and take off that way. But again, this is just a demo to show you how some of these lights work, how the throttle works. Bring your throttle up gradually. What they call stand them up time. And away we go. And of course, as usual, I'm headed right for the Mandalay Bay. And there's a lot of things that I have off. But again, we're in the rotating mode, uh, climbing at about a thousand feet a minute. gears coming up so it goes into transition in red and then slowly goes off and gears are our gear is retracted I should say and gear coming down and you can see they're quite bright versus some of the other ones and as you can see, the gear is down. One thing I didn't do is turn on the strobes, the bottom strobe and the wing strobes, but that's okay for the time being. Again, I'm just trying to show you how these things look. And I'm just going to put this in pause for a second. Um, we're getting a, another computer computer is quite powerful compared to what we're using and there's really nothing wrong with this one uh, but the new one's going to have 12 gigabytes of RAM one of the hot video cards out made by NVIDIA and the uh, better processor which is the i7 um, and that should be coming in uh, estimated delivery date is about two weeks so that's basically what it looks like uh, if I was to engage the autopilot that flashing light right there would go off and the auto throttle on the MCP engaged the AT which means auto throttle would be going off adjustments on the lights still need to be done in so far as the transit speed brake and so forth so this is what it looks like